All right, so we've covered every type in Temtem. Now we're gonna be going over status conditions as I promised in that video. The statuses in Temtem greatly differ from Pokemon and it is important to give the statuses their due justice on that front. Otherwise, you'll be probably wondering why, you know, hitting something made it wake up or why your special attack did less damage while burnt. In this video, we're gonna explain each of the statuses and how they work. So moving forward, you'll have a greater understanding of how to utilize them yourself. Anyways, all that said, let's dive in. Okay, so status conditions are essentially states that can affect your Temtem positively or negatively and can be inflicted and taken away via certain techniques and traits. A Temtem can have two statuses at any time, and when more than two are inflicted, they cycle in a FIFO or first in first out fashion. Statuses in Temtem are not permanent and will have a turn counter associated to them. This even extends to Temtem that are swapped out in that their statuses will take effect and count down during their non-active phase. We'll be discussing the negative conditions first and we'll move into the positive ones. First up we have the asleep condition which renders the Temtem incapable of using any moves whilst in this state. Temtem that take damage whilst asleep will be woken up and this includes damage from poison or burn which our effects we'll talk about shortly. One way around this is to use a Temtem with the ability soft touch which allows you to damage other asleep Temtem without waking them up but in general all damage will cause it to wake up. When a Temtem wakes, it becomes alerted till the end of next turn, which is technically a status condition too, and basically prevents a sleep while active. Mental type Temtem are immune to being asleep. Next, we have the burn status, which damages the afflicted Temtem each turn whilst active. This takes away 1 16th of its health each time. Furthermore, burn Temtem will receive a 30% nerf, both to their physical and special stats for the duration of the burn. Fire types are immune to this. Burn will also remove and is removed by the cold and frozen statuses which we're going to discuss next. The cold status is a sort of precursor to frozen which can set up the frozen status by being stacked twice on an enemy Temtem. It doesn't do anything by itself other than remove burn. The frozen status renders the Temtem useless while afflicted and again will remove burn and is removed by burn. Pretty simple stuff. The exhaust status is next and causes the Temtem afflicted to use 50% more stamina while active. There is an opposite status to this which we'll get into in a bit, and if that status is activated then this one's removed and vice versa. Next up we got the isolated condition which simply does not allow synergy techniques to activate. If you're using let's say Ureshiol, you'll only receive the normal non-synergy version of the attack regardless of who your ally is. Poison, much like burn, removes HP, this time for 1 8th, but does not nerf any stats. Toxic types are immune. The seized condition simply removes the effects of the inflicted Temtem's held item while active. And finally, the last negative condition is trapped, which makes it so you can't switch out while the status is active. So next up, we got the positive statuses that you'll mostly be trying to afflict on yourself to garner bonuses in battle. We discussed alerted already, but it's good to have active as it prevents the asleep status. The regenerate status heals a Temtem for 10% or 1 tenth of its health each turn. Evading makes a Temtem immune to offensive techniques while active, but is also removed once the Temtem receives a hit regardless of how many turns are left. This one's most common known as the effect of bamboozle, but there are other attacks that activate evasion as well. The immune status stops Temtem from being afflicted with any more statuses while active. Invigorated is the opposite of exhausted, we mentioned it earlier, and causes techniques to use 50% less stamina, and if activated will remove the exhausted condition and vice versa. They sort of cancel each other out. And then finally we have two statuses that technically don't fit into either positive or negative based on their categorization in game. The first being nullified, which removes all strengths and weaknesses, essentially making you typeless for its duration, and Doom, which I'd still consider a very negative status since it basically means that when the timer runs out, your Temtem is done. It just instantly faints, so yeah. Doom is kind of messed up because it can cause some serious damage to your team, and I mean, there's even an ability that turns moves that would poison you into Doom instead, so you gotta respect this one. But anyways, guys, that was a brief explanation of all the status conditions in Temtem. It is important to understand how these work because it will help you strategize your team a lot more efficiently. Let me know what Temtem guide you'd like to see next. I've still got a lot in the works. And if you are a fan of monster taming games like Temtem or want to explore the genre further, definitely subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every single day. You can check out my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo, Dark Persona, and Exodus, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.